been thanked here tonight. Senator Turner was there from, with the, from the very beginning, and I'm just blessed to be her friend and her colleague. She's an amazing leader. My family, my husband, my brothers, my brother's birthday is today, Billy Watson's birthday today. And my sisters and my sons and my, you know, my entire family. This is my gorgeous granddaughter. You all know how I feel about her if you're my Facebook friend. Let me thank you. First of all, I see labor out here. Strong labor's been out here. Couldn't have done it without labor, right? Couldn't have done it without the volunteers. Couldn't have done it without my church members. Couldn't have done it with old friends and new friends. And couldn't do it with the colleagues that are standing right here along with me. And couldn't have, wouldn't have, and wouldn't, would not have wanted to have done it without my husband, Bill Coleman. I want to congratulate everybody on our team in Mercer County that was victorious in this election. I'm so glad that Mercer made the right decision. Right, Mayor Simon? Everybody is a winner here. Let me tell you, okay, this is not going to be an easy journey. And we're going to have some very tough times. But see, we're made for these tough times. And so we need to make sure that we go to Washington collectively, that your spirit goes there with me, that we speak on behalf of everyday working families. We speak on behalf of the elderly to make sure we protect and preserve Social Security and Medicare. We speak on behalf of children that we make sure that education, public education, is a great equalizer. And we speak on behalf of women and minority and anybody who's not paid equal pay for equal work. And we make sure that we stand up for battles we thought we already won, like a woman's right to choose and unfettered access to voting. So I'm really excited about the prospect of going to Washington and becoming part of the discussion and part of, I hope, the solutions. You can count on me. I was able to count on you. You've blessed me tonight. You've blessed me since February. And I pray that my service to you is a blessing to you and your family. Thank you and God bless. Yes, I do. I hear you, but we're not on me. Bonnie Watson Coleman just finished speaking. Hi, Mary Alice. I am indeed with Bonnie Watson Coleman. Congratulations. You have made history tonight. It's amazing. This is an amazing experience. I'm, I'm so humbled by it and so excited about the opportunity to serve my community in this capacity. You're breaking into the old boys club down there. Yes, that's a good thing, right? I think so. Yeah, women it's, should be there more. Female, female. Yes. <laughs> but tell me what this means in terms of what you're going to be doing, breaking that ceiling for African American women. Well, I, you know, I'm going to go down there as a representative of the 12th congressional district, and I'm going to address the issues that confront us all. You know, if we're elderly, it's Social Security and Medicare. If we're children, it's making sure that we have health care and we have public education. If it's the middle class, I want to make sure that we have strong unions and we have good jobs. So I'm going to go down there as a representative of them all. And I'm also going to be looking out to make sure that where there is disparity and where government has a role, that we address that disparity and eliminate those barriers for women and minorities. Now, your colleague, Senator Shirley Turner, said that, you know, you cut your teeth in politics, and she said, you learn to stand up to the State House, boys. You're going to head on down to Congress and stand up to John Boehner. That's going to be a tough Congress down there. It's a pretty skewed Republican right now in the House. Well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand up for the issues that I think are important, and I will speak out and advocate on behalf of those things that I think the people of the 12th Congressional District are expecting of us. I don't know about standing up to John Boehner or anybody. I see myself standing up for things that I believe in. So tell me, what is it that you want to do? What committees are you looking to serve on? 
Well, I mean, I'd love to be on the um, Labor and Education or Education and Workforce Committee. I'd love to be on Energy and Commerce, but I will take any assignment that they give me and be able to work on the, some of the other issues in task forces and, and little small committees, subcommittees, things of that nature. So I'm just wanting to go down there and serve. A little bit of, a, of an emotional issue here. Your dad used to ask you questions about politics. He was a, a, a groundbreaking African-American assemblyman. He had basically, you wrote your, his speeches, I heard you say one time. What would this mean to your dad right now? I know my dad and my mother are looking down from heaven and they're saying, she was prepared for this and we're just glad that she's carrying on the family legacy of public service. Thank you and congratulations. The lady goes to Washington and makes history. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are reporting live from Trenton. Bonnie Watson.